Hello, my Libras. Welcome back. All right, so we're going to do a love reading for you today. Take a peek and see what's going on. This is a general reading, just like always, so please take what resonates. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, link to my website is in the description box below. Okay, so I'm going to pull cards to see the overall energy going on for you in love whether you're single in a relationship or not this is not specific so we'll just see whatever comes up now uh, i feel like whatever it is there hasn't been movement there isn't movement right now i wouldn't feel uh, or could be a little stagnant upcoming but I feel as if there hasn't been movement right now. Some of you may have a couple options coming up, but I don't know if you're going to choose either one. I feel a couple options for you, Libra. Okay, and then... Um, interesting because I'm feeling like an energy of and this seems to be because I was picking this up on in a couple other readings that I was doing this walking away a lot of people could be sort of leaving energetically or physically you know because you can emotionally walk away and physically walk away especially emotionally I want to say right now this energy of walking away Someone may do this and and could be you, Libra. You could be kind of just like, well, whatever. In regards to something in your life, or you did, you will or you did. And I feel like somebody is gonna come after you, come after you, my dear. Or who however this resonates. Cross watcher for Libra, but I'm getting this could be an earth sign, Taurus Virgo, Capricorn. Does not have to be. They could have Earth somewhere in their chart. But uh, regardless, I'm getting that someone could be, is going to be taking action, choosing, could be giving a gift or an offer, or making some sort of gesture. They're coming in because the other person walked away. You know, Libra, you also could be crying more or you, or there could be crying I don't know why I'm picking up crying, but expect a message from somebody, you know, who you've connected with, or I'm getting a, a message from a message from a soulmate, regardless of, you know, who this soulmate is new or old. I don't know, but I am definitely getting like an energy of someone pursuing a, a you, I believe. Very much so, without even pulling any cards. But let's go ahead and see the overall energy. Universe, connect me with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Show me the current overall energy for Libra in love, please. Current overall energy for my Libras in love. Libras in love. Okay. Financial and material changes and moving on. See, that's what I was picking up. Somebody here could be leaving a marriage, leaving a commitment, leaving the idea of trying to be committed with this ring energy. They're moving on from this. It's either you or someone you're dealing with. And if you're single, whoever's in your energy, they're moving on from some someone from a commitment in the past. And they are so ready to move on from this. But if not, if not, it's like, you know, 
whoever is moving on from from this is so ready. The 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 light. It's just there's darkness behind. There could be unhealthy habits or some, because I was hearing the word abuse. Hopefully that's not physical. I don't know, emotional, physical. Could be substance, could be, um, you know, just abusing someone's time, just obsessiveness. I'm feeling it, that is a factor here. And I'm also feeling that whatever is being moved on from is going to take a while or it has taken a while. It's very tempting. It's extremely, you know. But it was not emotionally fulfilling, emotional withdrawal. Okay, so, and, and you know, it's interesting because I felt the need to pull two more cards, which I just, you know, that's just what I wanted to do. Um, so, and in the future, through the light, this is how it comes out, the foundation and achievements and the authority. So there could be a relationship in the future. Some of you, this might be current, but I'm feeling like this still moving on because I said the current energy I'm, you Libras are still kind of getting over something. If you were married or in a serious commitment, you're still working on healing from that. But you are going towards in your future, this, somebody's going to, to, to really kind of, this is, this energy is like the emperor here with the authority, very dominant, very sure. This person may have a kind of a deeper voice or something significant about their voice if they're feminine or masculine. If it's not deep, it's just very, it's unique. That's what I'm getting. They're going, there's potential for a relationship here with an individual that will be very sure about you, Libra. How you will feel about them or how you feel about them, I can't say, but they are going to be sure about you. All right, so. I like this though, you know, whether you feel it or not, some of you may be currently still in that because this five, this is, fives is obstacles. So that, you know, mental tension, there, there's just tension blockages right now, but you're moving towards something very positive, Libra, so just know that. Um, and for those of you that aren't going into a direct relationship, this is really kind of stepping into your power and being balanced in, in, in yourself. You know, success in yourself, success in your home, your environment. A lot of you, I feel like that applies absolutely. You know, for those of you that are wanting to leave a connection or starting to leave a connection, uh, or, or regardless, you know, there, there's, there's positivity ahead from whatever it is that you're moving on from. More committed, balanced energy. Okay, clarify this foundation achievements and authority for Libra in love. Okay, Eight of Swords, all air energy. So there's a, a lot of emphasis on you here. So there could be some action that's needed on your behalf, I'm clarifying the authority. you. You know, for some of you, you're the one that needs to, to step up and take action in regards to something. You know, you could be a little bit stuck in your head. Eight of Swords. Actually, you definitely are Eight of Swords, but you will have clarity. You're going to understand and see something clearly. You know, um, whatever decision it is that you're going to make, you're not going to make it in, in regards to emotion. This is going to be more logic. Very air energy, very in yourself here. 
I, I, I just have to peek. See, what is this Ace of Swords? What is it that Libra's in love? What, what is this Ace of Swords here? Again, though, I do feel as whoever it is that's coming into your life or that will be in, because I don't sense, again, I, you're in this transition, so you may have options. Mm -hmm. I would say potentially two. and but, the, but one person, and they feel, they're very sure of you. Okay, so what is this Ace of Swords? Or they they will be, whoever this will be. See, I, I'm going, I'm so, but it's because I'm sensing a couple things here, even though I don't see it necessarily. All right, Ace of Swords. <laughs> Clarify the Two of Cups. Yeah, you do, you have a soulmate, you have a connect, yeah, oh. Yes, this is exactly what I'm saying. You have a connection. You have a soulmate floating around. You will. You're going to come to realize this because this clarifies the Ace of Swords. Someone's going to be on your mind. But the Three of Swords and the Lovers. A lot of you with the clouds here are still very clouded about a connection that there was hurt and pain. Again, you're still moving on. You're not healed, Libra. I mean, I don't think you show it with this emperor and this king of swords energy. You know, you're very strong. But what's going on in the mind is a whole different game here. But there's two. Two of cups and the lovers. One connection could have been more physical based. You know, you could have been younger or somebody here. You know, there's there was heartbreak. And it's it's causing you some, but you'll come to learn. You'll 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 understand soon. That's pretty much what I'm. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead. I got a little lost in that. Let me go ahead. So you have two things going on. And for some of you that aren't dealing with necessarily two energies, a lot of you, that's what I'm getting, but, but, or, or have that option around you. Not everybody's going to be dating. It could just be like a changing of a connection that where there was once hurt. So I'm feeling very much so a phasing over because this energy is a lot more gentle. This, this is more like physical, um, there's, there's something shifting here. All right, how is this person, whoever Libra is dealing with in love, how does this person currently feel about Libra? For those of the, you that are, how does this person currently feel about Libra in love? There could be some obstacles or the competition. They feel as if there was like competition for your love or they will feel that way. Um, maybe, you know, you're not the easiest to access Libra. <laughs> but it's interesting because three of wands and ten of cups. Um... You may keep them waiting, or there's this energy of waiting. So whoever this is, there isn't, it won't be, you know, I feel like the all, you know, there's patience needed here, or there has been, but waiting. But Ten of Cups, how do they currently feel about you? They see you as the Ten of Cups. So it doesn't get much better than that. They don't see, you know, that's all that's in the picture here they don't see anybody else you are their ten of cups that's i like this they also see potential to have a family with you you're somebody that they could settle down with yeah they're you're you know you're either dealing with or will be very soon in your energy dealing with somebody who, who's serious about you they don't want just a fling libra but there could be some arguments 
I'm, I'm feeling like this person could be a little bit feisty or there's feistiness here. Arguments <laughs> out of love. Could you not? He, he. <laughs> okay. Uh, how does Libra currently feel about this person in love? How does Libra currently feel about this person in love, please? Ooh, Libra. All right, Libra. Uh, I think you're very sexually attracted to them, but you could resist this or... Um, but there's a lot of sexual attraction. Could be a little bit like repetitive with the, the this infinity symbol above. Whoever this energy is I'm picking up, this could be somebody you've dealt with before. But I don't know. Again, I'm getting a couple energies. Five of Wands is on your side as well. So I feel as if there's some competition for your attention. Like I was saying, I think that's why I'm like blah, 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 all over the place with this. Now, five of wands, seven of swords. How do you feel about this person, Libra? <laughs> five of wands, seven of swords, nine of wands. You do not trust them for the life of you. I don't know if you just don't trust in general, but, you know, there could be a little bit of an argument about, like, you know, Seven of Swords. There's something missing here. There's something missing. Is it you that's missing? Is it them that's missing? What's going on? But whatever is missing or not understood or sensed, guard is up. You are guarded or take this how this resonates. If this isn't you, so <laughs> this is this per you know this person feels this way about you, but I it's coming up on your side. So, King of Cups. But you feel very deeply about them. You are super conflicted about that, though. You're super conflicted about your emo emotions for this person. You might think they lie. You might think they lie repeatedly, or I don't know. You're just so not buying it. You know what's interesting though? With the King of Cups energy, I am getting that someone here is genuine. I feel as if you guard your feelings and emotions big time in regards to this person. But I am also getting that in, in, in the mix of everything, in the, mis in the middle of this five of wands, because there's a couple energies, like I've said, coming around you, there is someone who's genuine. They possibly could be a water or fire sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, doesn't have to be, but there is someone who cares about you and that is genuine, but you're super guarded to everyone. You are like, um, do not pass go. Stop right there. Let me check you out. Something, like, you know, this is like, this is like the airport check line. Just so, let me take off the shoes. Let's see it all. You're not trusting anything, Libra. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm going to end it there. Bye-bye. Uh,